The gene machine is the only reason that the world right now, all over the world, there's portable MRI now. But how did that happen on a boat? Well, I had all the smartest MRI scientists on the world on. I told them that the captain works for me and we're not going back to port until they solve this problem. True story. We literally invented, at the time, the future of MRI. And so we have all the patents because of the gene machine, because of a trip, and because I made a joke, we're not going back. This is gonna be a hot interview. All right, one more loosen up. Give me a Kleenex. Then I won't sniffle as much. Do you want me to give you a little tour? This is how the boat was uh, when we had it uh, delivered from uh, uh, Damon in, uh, I guess, uh, March of 2021. So you bought this new? You did yeah, specific we had them do like the lab below, but we didn't have time for them to do everything. I wanted it, so we took delivery with only them doing the molecular biology lab. And then I wanted delivery. And then in March, uh, we just added ourselves in Fort Lauderdale, uh, the room that you saw there, a top deck, which was fantastic. So we had Damon just finish the, 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 the finished laboratory, which made sense. Uh, and then the captains took it over. Well, my dad taught me, if I love what I do, I won't have to work a, a day of my life. And I had two lives with my dad. One, we had to fix everything in the house. And when no one was looking, I would go into the laboratory. Uh, and to a lot of destruction. But the second thing was I always traveled with my father. And he told me that every trip we made had to pay for itself by selling a, cont a container of Ladecrete. That's uh, the com our family's uh, b business. And so I knew that if you made a trip, it had to pay for itself. So I can't make a trip on the gene machine unless it paid for itself, because that's what I did when I was nine, when I was 13, I, whether I went to Italy, whether I went to Australia, I went to South Africa, I saw the entire world. So we pay for our trip, as I'm speaking to you, because there are 30 bright individuals writing code to either help one of our public companies, help one of our private companies, or start our next company. So this is my container of Ladecre. I, You know what? I never put that together until you started to ask me this question. I always had to pay for a trip. The, the hackathon in Singapore is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's only a few times in history that there's a big enough change uh, that you can have a, a massive impact. Uh, for me, it was uh, the Human Genome Project, and they needed tools to decode the human genome. And I was an engineer, so I could make the first tools to quickly decode genome. So it was a moment. And so we're in Singapore now because this is a historic moment, just like needing to sequence DNA was a historic uh, moment. In March of 2020, when the world was caught off guard and needed a way to do rapid testing for COVID, I had a small lab on the gene machine and I developed the prototype of a super sensitive COVID test. It would be the first or one of the first home tests that was a thousand times more sensitive than those antigen tests. So it would catch COVID before you could spread it. So can you just point out where the lab was? So this, is all, this was all stainless steel. Uh, we had the, the benches for us and the interns. 
And this is where, and when we, if we go to my cabin, I'll show you some of the early ones. This is where the detect test was. But this is a lot better use of space to have it be a lounge and an office as opposed to a lab, right? It, it, it is, because uh, it's great to have the interns, but you also want the separation. So it's kind of nice now uh, that the computer programmers are over there. There's a I couldn't have a machine shop on this boat. Uh, we did do a 3D printer on it, but now we have some more industrial 3D printers. Jacob, say hello. And what are you learning this summer? Coding. And what else? Uh, how to make a hydrogen fuel cell. So they, they do have summer projects. That's, that's Jacob. Yeah, so this was the commercial detect test. And, you know, <laughs> some of the early ones. And I think I have a draw off. Since, since, you know, we said whether we can make it into a pen. I mean, if you look, I got drawers full of, you know, some of the early prototypes. Uh, th th this was, you know, some of the components. We just did something that we thought would be the uh, uh, best to get a, a, a approved. <laughs>
uh, molecular tests or DNA tests. So that's a DNA sequencing. This machine read uh, Omicron. Uh, it's a twin. So uh, that was in South Africa. I didn't take it back. <laughs> but it, it was what discovered Omicron. And when we decoded it, you knew immediately that we were in trouble. Uh, this is the Doctor in the Vox, which was Andrew's project uh, this summer. And that's uh, Andrew. What's it like to work for him? Uh-oh. Awesome. <laughs> I got nervous. <laughs> I mean, no other internship. You're coding one hour and then snorkeling off the coast of Indonesia the next. So it's, it's been great. Yeah, no, every day has just been yeah. a new adventure. Did you like the whale sharks? Oh yeah. I, I still can't believe that happened. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel to be able to give these amazing experiences to your family? That does make me uh, feel great. I really want them to see the world, but I really want them to see it for perspective. The kids have to have a normal life, so 16 weeks of the year they're on the boat, and it's, it's a pretty pampered life. You know, they're all doing projects, but it's a pampered life. Uh, but the rest, they're, they're in school, they're doing their homework, they're clearing the table, they're setting the table, uh, they're buying the groceries, they're doing their chores. Uh, so we have a, a normal life most of the year. Uh, we want our kids to have good values, to work hard, to study hard. Uh, so during those 16 weeks, we have a lot of ground to cover. We have a lot of the world to see. We have a lot of cultures to learn from. And we can use those weeks back home to reflect on it.